Hi, this is Native Robin. Today I'm out in the woods just enjoying the, the outside scenery and the mild temperatures. And uh, I'm going to set up a tarp. It looks like it could rain. And uh, I'm going to do a product review video later on today. And I thought, might as well just set up a tarp now. Now, one of my YouTube buddies that I enjoy so much is named Really Big Monkey One. He makes these bungee cord covers to cover over the outside of his bungee cords so that they don't get all frayed and chewed up on the trees. And I thought that'd be a pretty cool thing to do myself. So, uh, Mike, really big monkey one, here's my version of your uh, bungee cord covers. Check it out. First of all, my bungee cords are gonna need at least a four inch wide uh, piece of material to sew together to go around the hooks on the end. Okay, here's the bungee cords I got. It just says they're super strong. I got 48 inch lawns. That way they could wrap around the tree and come back and hook on their cells. They got these big knobs on them to kind of, there's no exposed metal so they won't rust. And it says they're three times stronger than a normal bungee cord. $2.29 a piece. So I'm gonna take these uh, bungee cords, I'm gonna make a sleeve out of this nylon material and show you how we do it. Okay, I, marked, I took my ruler and a marker and I marked off a four inch piece here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. Okay, uh, really big monkey one suggests that you make these sleeves three times longer than your cords. So because of the width of my material, mine's only gonna be about two and a half times, but I've already made one and it turned out pretty decent. So I'm gonna mark one more off and cut it too. Okay, so now I need to sew these two pieces together so that I have one long piece. Now, I'm gonna put a hem on him. If you're gonna put a hem on each end, do it now before you sew it together. I forgot on one. Found out the hard way. It's hard to add a hem later. Do the same thing to the other end. Now what we gotta do is fold these together and sew up into a long sleeve. Now one thing I have on my sewing machine, it's not a really expensive sewing machine, but is a little reverse knob. So when I first take off, I'm gonna reverse it back and then go forward and that'll put a triple stitch right at the end where it'll get the most stress. Okay, go forward, back up, and go forward. And that'll put a little extra stitching right at the end where there's the most stress on the, on the bungee cord and the sleeve. Now I just kind of keep the material next to the edge of the foot and just kind of eyeball the hem. Okay, now, so you got your long tube that's wrong side out. So you, you gotta turn. You gotta turn inside out. I use a long, a long dowel rod, like this. I got it started. There you go. And just kinda work it. Now, once you get the bungee cord uh, sleeve made, you're just working around on here. Slide those up. So what we got here is a nice looking bungee cord that's got its 
uh, got a sleeve on it. Now, I wrap this around the tree to hang my tarp. Uh, I don't have to worry about my bungee cord, which I spent the extra money for the nice one, getting all frayed on the tree and stuff. Plus, the green looks kind of cool. A lot better than bright yellow. So, I'll try this out in a few days. I'm going to be out in the woods uh, doing some product reviews, and I'll hang my tarp with these, and we'll see how good they work. Well, I literally bought that the material at Joanne Fabrics for five bucks on sale this weekend. It, it was ripstop nylon. I had some left over, so I made a bag to put everything in. Put a little doodad on here. Malta. Inside of my bag, I got my bungee cord covers and four of these cheap, inexpensive uh, tent stakes. As far as setting up a tarp, pretty much you got to kind of go with what you got in your surroundings. Now I wanted to be close to the creek today, so the trees are kind of far apart. So I'm going to have to use a ridge line. I'll use, put up a ridge line between two trees, and then I'll go ahead and use the bungee cord to secure the, the two outside edges and tent stake down the back. Okay, just to show you how I'm tying this around the tree, we're going to go around the tree. Now we're going to flip this up like this. See how I got that? Now this one's gonna come up into the hole, around back, and through the hole again. That's a bow line. That's how we're gonna fix one end. So I'll do that and show you how I'm gonna do the other end. Okay, so that I don't have to hear the collective groan of every bushcraft man on the internet when I cut my paracord, I'm gonna do this other end I'm gonna secure with a bow line on a bite. That's just a little bit different knot, but it leaves a loop in here that I can attach my bungee cords on and I'm just trying to try it out anyway. So the way it works is this. You have the cord. You cross them over like that. Okay, so all I did was I took the cord and I crossed them over like this. Now I bring the bottom loop up or through the hole and then around the whole thing and just kind of pull it tight. Snug everything up. There, now I'm left with a loop that I can attach my bungee cords to. And there you go, bungee cords onto that. And I didn't have to cut my uh, paracade, paracord. There it is, stretched across. See how far away that tree is? I would have just attached bungee cords to the tent or to the tarp, but the trees are too far apart. Okay, I'm gonna get out the, the tarp and get it strung up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Across. Did a bowline on a bite, put the bungee cord on it. Cut a couple poles out of some wood laying around. Put a bungee cord on. A little advice here. Grab a stick with a Y in it to keep the bungee cord from flying off. And here we go. Okay, so there's my quick little bungee cord demonstration. I could have used bungee cords up in the trees more and just attached bungee cords to the front flaps and to the sides, but I like being down next to the water. So uh, I can watch the water, maybe throw a line out and do a little fishing. But the bungee cords, hey, I think they look cool, number one. I think number two, it's a great idea to help protect them, make them last longer. And hey, there you go, another day in the woods. So until next time, this is Native Robin saying, happy trails.